going live, and that ain't no jive. See you in five, four, three, two, one. What's up, YouTube? It's your man, AM, Comics Most Wanted. Back at you with another live haul, of course, live and direct. He asked, what's next? This is the hottest covers of 2018. Um, first, I was going to do it. Then I wasn't going to do it. Then I said, might as well, what the heck, especially since I went through, you know, the, you know what? I'm going to be totally honest. I got some, I got stacks, y'all. Literally, I got a stack here, stack here, and a small stack there because I couldn't pick just one cover. And certain artists just can't one or two covers from the artists. Say so he's like Francesco Martina. Like everything that fool did was hot. So um, concerning him in particular, I mean, you, I kind of did it like uh, my favorite stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, like the hottest stuff that being the stuff that like, I just had to have. I kind of, a few of these, I went through some, uh, I went through some things to get, you know what I mean? I went above and beyond uh, to grab. Put this back where this went. Um, but yeah, uh, let's get to it. Okay, so uh, let's just jump right into it. Let me scoot this back a little bit. Get myself situated. Get that, that'll do. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Make sure I'm going to start this off right and everything. Oops. Uh, uh, you know what? I think this was the how I wanted to start it. Okay, so uh, and I I, I checked on most of these because I was like, no, this had to come out before, and uh, most of them that I thought that were you know older than 2018 weren't and the ones that i had a couple that i thought that were like i tried to put a uh, harley um harley and ivy meet betty and veronica number one the adam use variant and that came out december 2017 so i couldn't even include it in here so just stuff like that i was like oh wow that one 2018 so just missed it by one month so, so you know the couple that i did think like that uh were actually a little older so let's jump right into it uh I'm pretty sure this was 2018. I don't even think I checked on this, but I'm gonna show it anyway. Because, because yeah, I think they were doing a variant cover like this by then. This is Hawkman number one by Stefan Sedgwick, I believe. I wanted to get doubles of this. This is a real hot cover. Um, I hope the lighting is okay and everything. I'm kind of concerned with that. I want to trust me, the production will be a little better. In just a bit. Uh, yeah, so I was happy to grab that. Well, not to grab that, but yeah, that was one of my favorites. Um, I was happy when I came across this one. This is uh, Bad Girl, Birds of Tw Prey, number 20, because I initially missed it and then went to a, a comic shop out of town and wound up finding it. Damn, I glare. Turn on this light back here. Let me see if that works. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe that's, uh, that looks better than me. It's just going to help me out. Okay. Birds of Prey, number 20. Uh, uh, Justice League, number one. This is the uh, sketch. Well, this ain't the pen pencil sketch. This is the ink sketch variant. Uh, Jim Lee. Don't. And then uh, here's the um, Jim Lee Justice League number 10, Aquaman on the cover. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. And one of the dopest ones. These are all, this ain't every dope one, but you know what I mean? This is a lot. I mean, like I said, these, are, these were all ill covers. This ain't every ill one, like I said. You guys, you know, feel free to chime in if you don't see the one in the, that you like in here. But I, I mean, like I said, I got three stacks, so just hold on. 
We're gonna get through this. Justice League number. This is Matina, like I said, Aquaman, our character Aquaman, and this is a uh, Perillo cover. Justice League number twelve. Uh, not personally one of my favorites, but you know I try not to be biased because uh, it was a hot cover. One of the hottest, one of the hotter ones this year, so I had to put it up there. I love this one. This is one of my favorite of the foils, uh, Harley Quinn number fifty-two. I don't know who did this, but yeah, I love this cover. Yeah, this is this is the tightest out of all the foils that they did. This is my favorite. So should make that into a T-shirt. Uh, Alex Gardner, Teen Titans number twenty-three. I was kind of skeptical of his art style at first, but he actually started from number 21, 22, which I'm, I need number 25. But I have number uh, 23 and number 24. And I thought these, just because of the style, it's kind of innovative to me, which I learned to appreciate. And yeah, it's just super tight, uh, you know, super sick with it. Looking forward to getting the, the one after this, number 25, is Crush. Uh, I think this is kind of, you know, people did appreciate it, and they liked it when it came out. But I think it kind of got hot for another reason, because uh, there's an error. This is Batman Kings of Fear, num Kings of Fear number one, covered by Bill Sin uh, Sinkiewicz. Uh, yeah. Um, but still, very... Very uh, nice cover, nonetheless. Um, here's a newer one. Um, yeah, uh, and I actually had to wait till the very last week of this year because a couple a, co uh, a couple of covers came the last week, or maybe just one, but that one I had to make it. So. Uh, this is close. The Batman Who Laughs number one. The uh, Capullo cover. I mean, just that all black. Beautiful. You know, I, I don't mess with it if it ain't flawless. You know, get a flag, flawless victory on it. No ticks. I mean, it's perfectly, it's perfectly perfect. So, um, yeah. So we do that there. Love that, love that there. Uh, here's another one. Oh uh, yeah. Now this is actually kind of kind of weird in that uh, he actually did this drawing in 2014, and it was released as a poster, from what I uh, understand. But uh, it was the time, first time it made it, it made its way onto a comic book in 2018. And this is uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 10, uh, J. Scott Campbell variant with uh, Black Widow on the cover. No black, no black widow, black, black cat. Yeah, black widow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty dope though. Okay. Put this to the side here. Okay. Somebody gonna sponsor me. You know who I want to sponsor me? Um, hold on. Cue my music. Y'all 
work on it. I can't find. I couldn't find my stand. But this is who I want to sponsor me. I need to put this in the backdrop somewhere. These people right here. This this is gonna be my our sponsor. <laughs> is uh, I want to put this uh, right in the back somewhere. <laughs> I hope they come a calling. The way they price, the way they price it, no, I hope they probably won't. Okay, let's get back to action because, uh, like I said, we got stacks on stacks on stacks. Let's keep it moving. I know ain't nobody gonna join. Don't expect nobody to join, but hopefully y'all check me out on the get back. Okay, now, I did check. This one wind up being one of the ones I checked out because I was like, this has to be older. Was it, was this? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah, I want to get my question answered inver invertedly. But yeah, started in 2018. Uh, this is Zenober number one. Um, I forget the uh, the name of the guy who did this cover. Um, but you know it's dope. You know what I mean? I, I saw this. I just had to have it. Kind of spiked and went up and, you know, Kind of stays where you know at the highest you can get it cheaper, you know, in some places it's not more than 20 bucks, but uh, yeah, you might be able to get a cover sometimes, double cover, but excuse me, you uh, you definitely can still get it for under 20. It's so number number one, cover B, Scout Comics. Now, the same artist who did that. Oh, party foul from Belaya from Boruski. Okay, the same guy who did that did this Deadpool number five. The uh, um, let me say, they, they speculated, and it was likely that this could have been recalled because supposedly they didn't get permission by whoever did uh, Garbage Bill Kids. It was Mattel or something to use that likeness, or you know, that basically that blueprint of their card. But nothing came of it. it was, you know, it was kind of going to be like the Dead Rabbit situation, to where you know you had to recall the comic. And I don't know why I say it like that because you know it obviously works when they put a cease and desist, man. That should, you know, that stuff stops, you know. So as we see with Dead Rabbit, um. Nightwing number 46 by Ben Oliver cover. You know, you know, you know, that was that was one of them ones. I know y'all remember that. That was one of them ones. Yeah. I didn't I you know I had to do the eBay thing when I'm getting that. Um speaking of Ben Oliver, here was uh, one of his later ones, Aquaman number 42. You know, this is Really, really dope. He had Jason Momoa on the head on that one. He's an, uh, a girl who plays on Mira. Very, very good likeness of both of them. For photo, photo realism. Pretty dope. Just going to jump on over to, uh, looks like we're jumping over to my man, Art Germ. Stanley Art Germ, Germ Lau. Y'all remember this? This was that uh, good old Wonder Woman number 51. Yeah, man. I seen this is coming out. It blew my mind. I really wish it didn't have a trade dress and stuff on it. Um, Cause when I saw it, it was, you know, I thought it was Virgin. You know, I saw Virgin, Virgin. Like, excuse me. So when I saw the tr trade dress on it, it was a bit of a letdown. Mm. It's still beautiful, nonetheless. Our journey. Speaking of Wonder Woman, we're going to stay on Wonder Woman and look at this, Wonder Woman 56, uh, part of the Witching Hour, actually the Witching Hour Part 2, with the beautiful artwork of Yasmin Putri. She's just really dope, man. This is, look at that, yeah, you know, famous. What really made this picture to me as dope as it is, everything, her style is just exquisite, immaculate, magnificent. No. But uh, that, that little... Trickle of blood dripping off her soul is just berserk to me. That's what that was that's what made the picture to me. Sick, man. Yeah. She's definitely something else. Um 
kind of reminds, like I said, it really reminds me of, uh, I think her popularity is going to catch her on, uh, like, Middleton. And it's taken a while, you know, going through it day by day. You know, I'm, I'm wondering every day, like, dang, why don't people like, you know, I'm expecting like this big bang type of thing, you know. And certain things, uh, it does catch on. Like, I mean, I think people, it's just like they haven't uh, went back and study, you know, you know, not everybody's going to be like us as a collector, you know, when we find somebody, we like, hey, we go, we go hunt, you know what I mean? We, we find, we go get the back issues, we find out everything they done did in their catalog, and you know what I mean? And uh, we go seek that stuff out. Uh, a lot of people, it takes the, I guess the average, you know, the layman a minute to catch on. So I'm kind of like wondering at, um, why, why it's taking Middleton so long despite his popularity. Um, and I guess I suppose the same things. It's going to be the same thing with Yasmin Putri because I just found out she did some earlier Nightwing covers, but this is a, a re more recent Nightwing. It's not the most recent one, Nightwing. No, is this the most recent one? Nightwing 54. I don't know if this is the most recent one, but it's one of the most recent ones. Nightwing 54. Yeah. And she did some earlier ones. I think I found some found some of the back issues back when it was rebirth. So yeah. Really nice. You know, and I'm showing out the show. You know, her I think breakout this year was uh this cover, which reminded me of this. I was like, oh yeah, I, I see what she's trying to do. This when people saw this. This uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws 26. This is back when it was still Red Hood and the Outlaws instead of Red Hood Outlaw, which it changed to in the next issue, I believe. Uh, people went crazy. They put this on Reddit and uh, months in advance. So people were kind of looking for this. And when they hit, they went, they went pun intended, bad shit crazy. Um, yeah, this was her breakout, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, got runs and stuff. So I'm going to stop there with, with this, with her. And uh, go over somebody else. Cause I'm going to go on a, a putrid run, but we're going to go uh, back. I can't, I can't remember. I think Federici did this cover. Now, remember this? Man. Went crazy when this came out. This is the witching hour, people. Uh, yeah, this was one of them ones. This was one of them ones, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, pretty damn awesome. Happy to grab that. And I was Wonder Woman 56 around the same time. I was hella high water, had to have it. Went crazy over this one. Yeah, remember this one. I think this uh, blew, blew her up too. This is much as she, everybody knew about her. This was uh, one of the ones. This one and the next one to follow, which is 57. These, these both killed it. These both killed it. Yeah. So, uh, my light material right there. E. Gerber, where you at? I'll let your boy. Um, yeah, I had to throw this in there because uh, I didn't expect him to do this. And I'm actually starting to gain interest in this character. I'm watching Comics Explain. Shout out to the... Uh, um, what's it? Rob? Yeah, Rob. Rob Jefferson. I think that's his name. Yeah, Rob. Comics Explain. Um, the Green Lantern 2, Matina, bam. Nothing that dude do is bad. I mean, he just don't, I ain't never seen nothing that was like, even like me. I mean, like I said, something gotta be at the bottom, obviously. What's up, Comic Head 84? My man, how you doing, brother? Uh, yeah, I mean, look. But this was actually super sick. I was happy to see him do uh, uh, Green Lantern. 
looks like Latino and Green Lantern. Uh, oddly enough, a few I, I heard more than a few actually said it was a feminist cover, but I thought it was not only you know a good uh, mix for, to put Latino on this character. I thought the cover was just damn right iconic. Like, I always imagine, like, can I see it on an album cover or a poster or a T-shirt? Would I, would I rock a T-shirt with uh, with this on it? All black T-shirt with this on? Hell yeah! You know, heartbeat. I'll go find some green Air Maxes to go with them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. I I ain't even got to the. Like I said, I got a couple more stacks. I, I got a, a a section with it with a whole run of his. Like I said, I couldn't just pick one or two or five or even 10 of his, you know what I mean? Because everything, so I got them mixed up in here, but I think I'm on a bit of a Matina tangent here because uh, these were stuff I like. I just had to have. Like this, I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, this is, this is this my part of the Matina's was, Matina's was, was just short shots. So this is a death, death stroke 33. Yeah, uh, Nightwing and dressed up as, Deathstroke. I didn't know who this was at first, but apparently somebody told me it was Nightwing dressed up as Deathstroke or Deathstroke as Nightwing or something. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's tight. I like when he does big covers. This, you know, I think that's his uh, his strong point. You know, his strength. His covers that you know are big, just like this one, uh, Deathstroke thirty six. This one hit and did uh, did uh, did good money monetarily. Uh, on this uh, did some had some heat on eBay. Still holding too. Like this is like a fifteen dollar book. Um, yeah, you killed it with this one. And I like to see books do that. You know what I mean? Obviously, like I said, I'm I'm just trying to keep it one hundred this year. Um, I, I like books that spike. You know. I like them seeing getting getting a book and watching it blow up. That's the shit. I mean, that's what what I do it for. You know, um, like I said, I'm not unless unless it's something I'm trying to do fill in runs. Like I'm trying to do the you know something specific like my X Men John Byrne run. I ain't trying to do the, even the whole X Men. I'm trying to do the John Byrne run right now, which is 108 through uh, 143, excluding 110. Just didn't do that issue, but I'm, I might get it anyway. But you know what I'm saying? You know, or uh, McFarlane's, you know, Spider-Man run, uh, uh, which is 298 through uh, 328, I believe, the last one in the Hulk on the cover. Half Punisher number one, Matina cover, that is straight far. Okay. Yeah, I might have seen that one. I might should. I might have seen it from you, uh, Comic Cat 84. That's my dude, man. Shout out to Comic Cat 84, man. If you guys. Uh, and subscribe to him. You guys don't know what you're missing. Um, you know, I, I, you know, all the people I watch is is dope, and he's one of my favorites to watch. Uh, because he 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 uh, he tickles the keys, man. He he, he tight on the on the eighty eight. Dope with the ivories. And I respect that. Uh, I come from a family of musicians. When I seen him uh, get down on that, I mean, fluent. Which you know, you tell the dude got soul. Let's just. Put keep it real, man. You know, as you know, I'm a drummer, so you know, I, I like you know, play to to play the piano and keyboard. You got to have rhythm. You know, play guitar, bass. You got to have rhythm. You know what I mean? To play the you know drums, you got to have rhythm. So you really can't you really can't make the magic happen without us. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So uh, Deathstroke thirty seven. <laughs> yeah, yes, we will. We're going to wake up soon, for, for real. We're going to do it. We're going to do what we talked about, man. I can't wait for that to happen. Uh, he just kept it going with this. Um, like I said, he does, when they, you know, full covers like this and stuff, he does real, real, real good. Um, yeah, and I've seen that a lot of these on eBay, they're going as a set. So, I mean... I'm not, I don't do, I don't flip. Um, like I said, I, I, I look at things and I research things like a flipper would, you know, with, with my eye on the prize, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't ever act on it. You know what I mean? Cause I'm not really, 
willing to get rid of my hot stuff. The doubles I have are basically, basically for my own insurance purposes, not even for reader beater copies, just in case one gets messed up. Messed up. But I like to have two of stuff. Uh, more like a hoard, hoarding purposes. To be truthfully honest, I mean, it's not really hoarding. This, I mean, it's collecting. Um, I have one if you got could have two. So, you know, sometimes, you know, one might be in better condition than the other. Like I said, one might get damaged, which happens to be the case with more of a few of my books. I wind up getting doubles of this um, inadvertently. Uh, I'm not mad, though. Suicide Squad number 47. This is one of uh, Martina's tighter covers. For those that uh, that missed that uh, Heroes for uh, Hire. Heroes for Hire? Or whatever that DC one is. Are they dying or something? I can't remember. It's the one with uh, Harley Quinn on it. You know, the, the variant. Oh, for, that's a lot of money. But, uh, Yo, heroes, yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> I said, heroes for hire. <laughs> heroes in crisis. I knew something was wrong. <laughs> Thank you, bro. And he came right away, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, heroes in crisis. For those that, of us that couldn't afford that variant, and I, I was one that came out on fire. Uh, I didn't expect it to do that, really. I should have known. I just thought there is a trade dress of it that was apparently available and uh through midtown at one point that's that that actual virgin cover because the, the one i'm talking about that fire one is actually a virgin cover but i think midtown has a variant with a trade dress on it uh but uh I know, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I was tripping. I was just going to roll with it, man. I knew it wasn't right. I was just going to be like, ah, what the hell? Okay, let's see. I was I almost missed this one, actually. Um, but this was kind of reminding me of what if, one of his earlier uh, Suicide Squad covers. Suicide Squad. It's a trade dress on it. Um, from a while back, I, could, I couldn't show it because uh, it wasn't this year, but Suicide Squad number 49. Yeah. So I think one of the more recent issues, if not the more current one. Oh, really? Since Satori Stir from my man. Uh, really? People don't, uh, I thought people liked that, uh, that series, uh, Heroes in Crisis. Um, but you know, like they say, one, one, one man's, uh, garbage is another man's treasure. So, and I find that often, like sometimes I, there's artists that people are just like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, Ooh, we really, you, you, you dig that? Or it's weird, man. I, I don't know, but I usually like to think, and I know this is true. My, like, you know, I like the things that a lot of a lot of people like, like I'm a big Matina fan. Everybody loves Matina sings. Um, as well, I like, I tell you who I, there's, I could name more of a few that I'm not on par with. Like, I'm not a big uh, J. Scott Campbell fan. Excuse me. It's weird. Uh, I am a big Michael Turner fan, and they kind of draw alike. But I, I look at, I don't know, I just kind of look at, uh, and I know they come from the same, as a matter of fact, I heard that uh, Scott Campbell came up under uh, Michael Turner or used to work for him or was affiliated him in some kind of way. Uh, maybe like he was his mentor, but uh, J. Scott Campbell reminds me of a more cartoony version of uh, Michael Turner. Not not a poor, I don't want to disrespect and say a poor man's Michael Turner, but he's just a little slightly more cartoony version. Not to say that he's bad, it's just not one of my... Are you referring to uh, Heroes in Crisis or Suicide Squad? I forgot. Well, I thought he was referring to um, Heroes in Crisis. That's what I was speaking of. All right, I'm going to keep this running. Check this out. This was, I mean, I got in, I, he started on number 12, and I, I, I assume that was uh, before 2018. But uh, these were 2018, and 
she did a few. Not everyone was super tight, but um, he did a few. Not everyone was t super tight of, of her, but this one was real tight. I think this is iconic. This is Supergirl number 16. I'm going to go back and probably get another double of this. But yeah, he's dope with this one. Very, very realistic. Sometimes he's kind of cartoony himself. And um, not cartoony, but more of an anime-ish kind of feel. Some of his work, like number 23, the full cover. I love this one. Number 18. Like I said, I didn't include everyone. Because uh, not everyone was hot to me. They are hot, but I just picked the hottest of the hot. And this was up there. Uh, some 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 things you might find, you know, I skip through some titles, you know, it might come in this fact because I do have runs of this is Putri and Frizen and stuff like that. So we're going to get to those. Yeah. Deathstroke rocks. Yeah. That little, uh, who's your baby daddy? That little uh, Murray Povich thing they had going. The beginning was kind of, kind of funny. Um, yeah, this one was cool because it's iconic throwback. I mean, all that, all that jazz. Love this one. And last but not least, I was I was rocking with this one too. Number twenty, he killed it with this. And I didn't yet for a while. I didn't even know the Superman down there. That was just yeah. Our germ is a is a monster. Is a monster. Love this one. This, the, the, those three, uh, that whole run from 12 to tw uh, 12 to 20, you can include number 23 now. Well, actually, you can because yeah, he's about to actually start doing uh, this again from what I hear. But only these three were the iconic, most iconic ones to me. Um, I actually don't own, I have 12 through 20, and I'm missing 14, but I, I think. Yeah, 13 and 14, none of those. I've seen the covers, some of those would have made the list anyway. I mean, well, because they're older. But this was cool. Actually, I would have feeling this at first, actually. But uh, I think I was talking to my man, Comic News Network, and he kind of made me see the light on this one. This one is, right, yeah. I kind of was feeling it when, uh, when I saw it, when it was coming out, previewed. Then when I saw it in person, I was like, ah, I was kind of mad about it. But, uh, then, uh, like I said, my, my boy Comic News Network made me see the light. Uh, and, uh, yeah, gotta love it. More our germ, Catwoman number four. You know, you know, you could tell he was going with a certain kind of a theme there for a minute. Very uh, vintage, uh, I would use the word. Yeah, Vintage-esque. For sure, very beautiful. You got to do doubles on that one. And I love when artists can do this, man. They just flip the style. You, you know, like middle thing they do. Like you know, from this, this is a whole different style. Like I said, we, you know, we doing different looks. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah ain't it though? Come and say that cowboy is just legendary. Even though I was climbing on her neck, I thought he did the neck a bit too long, but whatever. You know. I've actually seen a couple of females with their neck that long. But uh, this, when he just flipped the style, I mean, from this, which is vintage, to start doing retro. I mean, man, come on. When an artist can do that, that's what I'm talking about. Like with music production, like with, you know, martial arts, with, you know, people that can switch their style up. Wow. Very impressive. I mean, one style is impressive enough. That's, I mean, some, so you, you just got to be good, you know. But when you could do it magnificently ver versatile, be versatile with it, come on. That's the whole kid and kaboo right there. Now, this is the one I was speaking on. Couldn't have done this until the very last week of the year. This is the fifth. I had to, you know, get my reviews straight. You can see I got a couple of stacks, so it took a minute to get all this stuff rounded up. And I had to wait till the very last week of the year because this one made it to the very last week of the year. And this was 
one of the top three to me, for sure, no doubt. Catwoman number six, Arjun, come on, man. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely say the best for last. That is all-time greatness. All time, like forever. Forever. Iconic. This will always be like the number one Christmas cover for, for years to come. I don't care what, what what's coming after this. This will be up there in 2025. <laughs> this is greatness. Yeah, man. This is berserk. He killed it with that for me. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Um, and then I went back. Uh, I had to have this. I didn't get it when it initially came out. I felt real bad some type of way because I missed it. So I got I eBayed this. Um, Josh Middleton. Really wanted the one before this. Uh, 23, obviously. I didn't get it. I know poor Santa, he knocked his, he knocked him out. It was, I was saying uh, earlier, I, I, it took me a while to notice him. And sometimes I, I was forgetting he was there. That's so cool. She, he, he, he put him right in perfectly in the dark and the shadows and everything. But this one, yeah, you know, this is iconic. This came out around the same time. And uh, I was seeing this on sale as a set with that Batman, I mean, uh, Nightwing 46 with that uh, Ben Oliver cover. Um, yeah. Didn't get number 23, was sad about that, but then came along this and I didn't care anymore because this was a much better cover than 23 to me. Batgirl number 25, one of, I would say the top five covers of the year, if I'm going five for sure. Cause that our germ is definitely in there. This is most definitely in there. Um, the bad girl 23 is solid enough, popular enough. Uh, it's proven enough, obviously it's probably, you know, like I said, but, um, concept wise. And first of all, this covers black, <laughs> excuse me, that covers white. I'm comparing this to number 23. Well, I think this would be a pricier book. It's just because the the pictures are better. Twenty three, if you look at it, it kind of looks um, kind of crayonishy or color pencil-y, you know, a little bit. Not as de as detailed as this for sure. Um, like I said, there's a side of her face. This is a, you know more of a full frontal. It's just more, this picture is more, uh, I don't want to say more iconic, they're both iconic, but this picture seems a little harder to do. It seems like a, it would take more talent to do this cover. I just like it more. I just like it better. I missed out on a lot of those military backgrounds from the fourth side of them. Yeah, man. Um, I was watching, um, you know, Comic Time and those guys, and they were speaking on, um, his Aquaman covers. That's what I was kind of alluding to earlier. I think people are going to start catching on. Um, I, I forgot about his, when I was speaking on the people catching on the Middleton, I was speaking on the Aquaman stuff. I forget the news. Yeah, they're going to start tripping on the bad girl. I got like 13 and 14. It's hard to come across them. Like 20, number 20 is uh, real hot right now. And, um, uh, I think it was 18, too. I wound up getting, this is uh, number 28. People love this one when it came out. <laughs> I got quads on this one. I went got quad. I got quadded on it. Yeah. But that's good, though. Hey, Comic Kate 84, man. You, uh, uh, which was uh, one last best girl variant we should have done. Oh, ha ha. <laughs> that is funny. Ah. Bad Girl 29. I, I like that. I like that, Comic Kate 84. That is funny. 
but it's it's the I don't know, it's sort of like a certain kind of look. I mean, it's the realism look, obviously. Um, and he's going through, I didn't include the pastel when, when she was on the little bicycle or whatever. It would not to me. Yeah. Um, you know what? Here's the thing. This is this is the infamous one that he's talking about during that. Like she it was she kind of looked like old girl from uh, Say by the Bell a little bit. He does them. It's not that he that she's changing. He does a different girl every time. It's never the same girl. Like this girl is not this girl, and this girl is not this girl, and this girl. Let me see. And this girl is not this girl. You know, what I mean, you could definitely tell these are two totally different. You know what I mean? He. I've I've always um, been of the impression that he, he's doing that on purpose, actually, because um, to me, like I said, he's he's never you use the same model or inspiration for more than one, uh, and he does uh, does it to me like uh, Jenny Frizen does it with Wonder Woman. Because if you look at Frizen's Wonder Woman. Who was the first one I noticed who did that? Um, she, her face goes through a big transition. I was uh, Centuria Stirfry might remember me saying that initially she reminded me. Uh, I looked a lot of like um, what's my girl's name? Gosh, any other time her name would be jumping right out of me. Um, the mom and Noah. Jennifer, uh, oh my God. But anyway, it'll come to me in a second. Um, she, it seemed like she was using, um, no, no, for, not, not, not Jenny Frizen, uh, the, the model she was using, um, uh, Jennifer Connelly. There you go. Thank you. Um, yeah, so it looked like she was using her at first for, for a few uh, issues, and then uh, later it seemed like she started using somebody else, kind of like she was getting inspired a little bit by Gal Gadot for a couple of covers, and then a couple of covers later, you know, the face would totally change. So I just kind of thought it was something that those artists were doing on purpose. Because I know if we noticed, they noticed it, right? Um, This actually came out I thought it was way back. See, time flies. Twelve issues is twelve issues. That's a lot of issues. And that's a year. Um, sometimes more than that if we're going. Well, by the weekly stuff usually doesn't run for a whole year. Um, but this was Aquaman Jabberjaw. I was like, this is older than the year, but it's actually in the middle of the year. Number one, Josh Milton. This kind of caught fire when. Uh, you know, it first came out, but, um, you know, it died down. It was got up to like 15 bucks. You could still find it for about, you know, seven to 15. Same thing. You look hard enough, you get it for about seven, 15, 15. Yeah. That was, that was a hot one. But you guys, speaking of, like I said, Josh Milton, you guys go back and get these. This is the hotter stuff. This one in particular, um, Go grab this. This is number 32. The mirror covers are, are they've been known to, to have value already. So if you guys can find these in your back issue bins. These are, like I said, they're low print run, number one, because they're uh, varying B covers. Of, you know, this was after the rebirth, but they still wasn't catching on. Stores weren't ordering a lot of these. You know what I mean? Hell, they wouldn't order a lot of Aquaman to begin with because Aquaman it was not a popular title, much less to cover these. So then when you got a low print run and then you got a high artist, a sought after artist like uh, Josh Middleton on it, a low print run, especially of a hot character like Mira. Like I said, this issue is already up there, in like the 15, 10, $15 range, I believe. I got this one, number thirty-three, because I, I, you know, I think this cover is iconic, real hot. I love this Josh Middleton styles, man. Dude, go everywhere. He's all over the map with his style. Yeah, 
So he's another one. Look at this. Look at this. Aquaman 36. He's, um, you know, when, when, um, okay, see, when, this is the, uh, the, the turning point. But when they made him stop doing this, the, the trade dress right here for the variants. All right, Stir Fry, thanks for tuning in, man. Uh, I'll check you out. I'll, I'll hit you up. I appreciate you, man. Have a good one, bro. Use. Um, yeah, well, I've been on here for 45 minutes, just running my mouth. I'm going to try to speed this up. Yeah, we're almost done anyway. Um, Aquaman 36. When they dropped the trade dress and started doing the variants, it made I think it let I made a lot of artists, I don't know, just kind of brought something out. They started being a bit more creative and stuff just started looking a little better, if you ask me. Um 37 issue, next issue. Um I think her name is Dolphin, and uh, the covers with her on it go for go for a pretty penny as well. Um I think there's another one that I don't have and somewhere back there um, on the early issues. But yeah, the ones with her, they do a popular character. I think she she's kind of under the radar, but still popular at the same time. By, you know, it's kind of evident by the issues that she's, you know, appeared in on the cover. Uh, Aquaman number 39, this was hot when it first came out. Like I said, this is when people are starting to know um, about uh, Middleton. This, uh, like I said, this spike, this went to like 15 when it first came out. Mirror, mirror cover, like I said, mirror covers do do well. Like I said, covers with mirror on it, covers with dolphin on it. Uh, like I said, so that was another hot one. And this was one of my favorites, Martian Manhunter number one. Yeah, just the I like psychedelic looking things. The colors in this is just beautiful. Um, Middleton, man, what, what can you say? He's 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 that dude, you know. Um, yeah, he is that dude. Okay, now. This over here. Commercial advertisement brought to you by E Gerber, My Lights. Put them in My Light Tools. Full backs for all your greatest and favorite comics. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a sponsor from them and BCW for them uh, plastic storage bins because that's all I need. That's all I want. You give me a like some time supply the E Gerber My Light Tools, a full bag, standard size. And um and current, I like the currents too. And um, BCW, you know, black storage bins, and uh, we talking, we talking. Okay, let's run through some. Uh, let's run through some runs of our favorite stuff. Cup covers of years, because I mean, we just can't throw up just a couple of putries because she just was way too hot. We had number twenty-seven, well, that was real hot. Yep, yep, yep. We had number twenty-eight, that was real hot. I mean, she just don't stop. We got number 29. That was real hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, y'all like Jenny Friesen, right? She was really hot. Freezing. Frizen. Prison. Prison. Okay. Jenny Friesen, she was really hot. So uh I actually noticed her because of this more recently. This is X-Men number 10. She did this recently, and I was like, oh wow, she's doing the X-Men ones, right? But then I found out that she not only did number 10, but before that, she started with, like, number 7, right? Boom. And then she even did number 8. Boom. And then I don't number 9, but then she did this beautiful number 10. So I was like, okay, okay, okay. And then uh, she was doing it, man. Like I said, 38. I, I've been a fan. You feel me? Wonder Woman number thirty-eight. I mean, that's that. Don't, that's not Jennifer Connelly. That's looking more like. Um, gosh, I forget who who was this channel right here, but it was uh yeah much right now. Um, uh, 
Oh, um, yeah, I got more Marvel on the list uh, coming down here. Um, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I definitely see see some right there. But uh, is it more DC? I didn't notice. I guess it would be more DC because those guys, uh, Mantina killed it for DC. Middleton was killing it for DC. Frizzin was killing it. All the hot ones were at DC, really. The three hottest ones. Uh, Delato really didn't do much. He wasn't really hot to me this year. Um, 39. She came with the white shower on the head. I thought that was real tight. A little different. Uh, still with the trade dress, right? But still tight. I'm still a fan. You know, I'm still loving it. Number 40. You know what I mean? She was she was still rocking it, kind of still like a different look. Her face changed still. Number 40, 41, all lovey dovey with a uh, man Steve Trevor on the front. You know what I mean? Still. But then something happened with this one. Still trade dress and everything. I saw this one and lost my mind. More because of the colors. Uh, your face changed again. Kind of had a Rick uh, Leonardi kind of vibe to it, even still. If you guys know anything about Rick Leonardi's pencils, pencils or even who Rick Leonardi is. Um, but yeah, in a word, sort of, I don't know. She just kind of took her style, threw a little bit of Rick Leonardi in it to me, and the color art in this was just berserk. Uh, if you guys can see that and respect that. Um, yeah, so I, 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 I don't know, just little drastic changes in the art. Let me, it lets me see the versatility. Um, I was like, wow, she's something else when I seen this. You know, little sparks, you know, and, you know, this one was cool. I was like, okay, okay, you know. Um, Superman on the cover, still with the trade dress, you feel me? Um, 45, good one. I know a lot of people like this one, one of my favorites, still with the trade dress, you feel me? 45, right? But then 46. Now, like I said, I'm saying I keep telling you all the trade. These are all the B covers. Okay. This is what I'm meaning to tell you guys. These are all B covers. These are not the A covers. All of these that you're seeing by Jenny Friesen are all the B covers. And I'm saying that to say at the time, they were, uh, DC was still doing their variant B covers with a trade dress on it. Now, this is number 45. Number 46, it changed. This is the, they're both B covers, but they changed. They stopped doing the uh, trade dress on it and started making them uh, semi-virgin, okay? So, because it's virgin except for the uh, title header down here and the barcode. So that's why I call them semi-virgins. So they went semi-virgin and that seemed to, I mean, that she was already tight. Like I said, she already had my attention with this. I was already a believer with this. I was sold. I mean, I was already sold, but this right here was, I was like, okay, yeah, she's one of my favorites. She did this, like I said, all of them can't be winners, that this can't really be winners, and then this, and I was like, okay, she gone. Cause this, from here on out, she went crazy. This was one of the top ones to me. This one is iconic, people love this. You can check it out on eBay. It does a little something, something, you know. And her face changed again, kind of Angelina Jolie-ish. Um, 49, kind of iconic, almost religious card looking. Okay. Sorry. Then we went number 50. This actually sells um, for something on eBay. Dope. You know what I mean? Number 51. I remember when you, you guys remember these when it was hidden. Iconic. I mean, 54. She just started going off. You know? 55. Y'all remember having 156 is when she was with the Witching Hour. It's when she came out of the Witching Hour. Yeah, came out the witching hour. Um, I really like this one. This is one of my favorites. But like I said, this one was kind of mad for me. Like I said, the cow can't be winners, but this one is one of my more favorite ones. It's one of her top covers to me. 
Uh, this one was okay. Um, not one of my top, but just slightly under it. Very, very, very good. This one is one of my tops. Should go for that one. She kind of went back to the Jennifer Connelly ish looking look again. Um, I'd have to throw this one up there. It's dope, dope style wise. Um, yeah. More Martina, uh, more Martina. I got I had to throw this up there because it was a sh uh, short run. Actually, I don't think I have the very first issue, but this is the Flash Forty Seven. I mentioned the issue before. We started the issue before Forty Eight, which I was initially going to only include this one because uh, this is one of the dopest ones to me. Love this cover. Uh, number Forty Nine was equally as dope. I was like, how can you? I include this. People love this one as well. But then yeah, I did too because I got doubles. Um, this, oh, I did include number 50. I love that. That's just dope. Nothing Martina does. And number 51, his last one. And if you trip on it, this is actually an homage cover. You know? With the old flash and the new flash going at it. Yeah. I love it. I had to include these because I really didn't start taking notice until he started doing them. Um, yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. And it had to be clean too, man. I actually came across a double in the back issue, man. And it just had some kind of dirt rub on the, you know, over here. And I was like, ah, that's why I'm still here. Can't fool me. And I thought maybe is it worth trying to get out and clean myself? And Ultimately, I said, nah, I passed on it. But uh, this is Death Rock 30, 32. This is where he started it all on this run. I seen this, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'll do that. Matino and Deathstroke, that's tight. That's tight. And then he did 34. He did 3 33. I showed earlier with the Nightwing kind of amalgamation. And then uh, did this here. And then 35. When a lot of people thought it was kind of weird. I don't know if it's kind of a bondage thing. Or, I don't know. It's just people are silly. Um, but yeah, kind of dope. And then 38. He's just dope, man. I love when he first started because he just kind of quietly sneaks on. He just kind of quietly jumped on in Batman 55. You know what I mean? I think Tony Daniel was still, you know, doing the covers in 54. And all of a sudden, he just he was on the lot. All of a sudden, Martina was doing Batman. For, I guess, 55. And then, show 56. And you could tell, this is kind of like a trip, trip. Now, every three, every, he does the themes, every three comic books. So, you got the red thing right here. Red Stripe. Red Stripe. Number 57. Red Stripe, right? Three issues. There's 58 with the penguin. The little mashup, right? Wide cover, 59. The little mashup, right? 60. Wide cover. You know, he, he kind of shares a, a theme every three issues. You know, there's a, that, that set of themes. And then here's this set, three issues, three issue thing, three issue thing, and he's going to be starting a new one, I presume, with this one. And this was one of my covers of the year, probably. Get that right when I put there. Yeah, that's just way too tight. So I'm eager to see what the uh, number 62 is going to be looking like. So we almost are done wrapping this up. I knew it was going to be long, like an hour, because with, with the amount of books and the amount that I like to run my mouth, I knew we, we was in for a long haul. But, I mean, we're talking about a year's worth of comic books, and we're talking about some super hot artists. We can't do no top 10. 
Hell, we can't even do no top 50. You guys, okay? Now, I did not appreciate this at first. I thought it was a gimmick or whatever. Um, um, <laughs> um, yeah. Especially if you, uh, I'm a fan of cannabis myself, so in case y'all didn't know, now you know. So there's uh, nothing like getting lifted uh, to me and checking out some books. This book in particular, uh, when I'm lifted, I was looking at it one time and um, uh, I was like, wow, you could really lose yourself in this damn book. Avengers 675, No Surrender Part 1. Man, this hologram cover or lenticular, however you want to call it, 3D kind of reminds me uh Bad Avenger. Good morning, my man. What's happening, man? Thanks for joining. Yay. Um, yeah, this right here, this cover, wow. They I mean, Mark Brooks is always something. I mean, you guys know how hot Mark Brooks is. I mean, you look at the stuff he's doing. Detective Comics right now, I think. Um, yeah. Um, and he did a uh, run of, uh, excuse me, Darth Vader, the first volume. The guy is just ultra talented. He's one of the top guys. So this cover alone Not doing a verse here, you know. Oh, yeah, uh, the one with um, uh, Black Manta on it. Yeah, I was happy to get that. I actually uh, I got it with that in mind. I kind of kind of had a premonition doing that. When I showed it a few halls back, I kind of said that. So it's kind of cool to see one of my specs coming through. Or Yeah. But uh, this here, wow. I, don't, I think this kind of went underrated under the ra radar because it's a dope, really, 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 really dope picture. Number one, it's a wraparound cover. Number two, Mark Brooks number number one wraparound cover. Number two, and the fact that it's a this a 3D uh, you know hologram type, and it's a it's a good one. It's not like that whacked ass lenticular stuff where you got a whole of that angle and tilt your head and do all this. It's even better than the um, DC ones that they did. This is something different. This is actually very, very, very good. There was only, there was a, upwards of like 26 variant covers I found out for this issue here. And the only other one I would have gotten is the uh, trading card variant by uh, John, uh, JTC, John Tyler Christopher. Um, that looks really, really good, I saw it yesterday. But other than that one, I, I would have got the first one, did this one anyway, because this is just way too sharp, way too clean. I mean, like I said, this really went under the radar. You didn't even need to go through getting all that other crap or, you know, all the other 25 covers that they had that they could have kept it with this one and did got the job done. Because the first one that they had would happen to be the best one, no doubt. Like I said, Mark Brooks is a wraparound. And it's 3D. Hell out of here. Uh, Avengers, No Surrender, number 676, part two. Wow. Homage to the uh, Avengers number one. I actually, when I first thought, uh, saw this, I thought this was a picture. <laughs> I was like, they went, they went with a photo, huh? Wow. And I was like, damn, that's, that's a drawing? That can't be a drawing. Are you kidding me? I was like, well, he traced it over it. He just drew some of it. He just drew the this part over or something. I just know, dude, the whole thing is a drawing. He's sick for this. Yeah. Very, 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 very tight cover. Now, I had to include this because this is actually one of those first secret covers that I heard about them doing. This is... Uh, 682, no surrender part eight. And word to the wise, y'all keep y'all ear to the street. Little bird told me this. 
this is really the first true appearance of the Mortal Hulk. They got 684 uh, down, part 10, as his first appearance. But if you really about them true first and everything, um, this one will be it because they do have like the last uh, panel, like show his foot or something, and they actually have a panel that says coming Immortal Hulk. So technically, he's in here first. But, you know, like I said, 684, the one with him on the cover, which I'll probably show here in a minute. Excuse me. Which I'll probably show here in a minute. Um, uh, yeah, I love it. He said, hey, come again. I love the vids. Me too, man. I love all y'all vids. I'm seeing, pff, we, I got I got some cool friends, man. I got cool friends. I can, I'm going to get a shirt. All y'all name on the back. That would be dope if I if I got it with y'all. I know somebody that does shirts, man. I know Comic uh, Head eighty four does graphics and stuff. I'm actually working on uh, a logo. Um, you know, kind of brainstorming, trying to be creative. You know, I like the, I like plain and simple, symbolic type logos like the Nike swoosh, and you know, I'm a simple kind of guy. And if it's going to be detailed, I like to kind of simplistically detailed. Um, but anyway, this was the first uh, secret variant because this is not this. It actually shows Hawkeye in costume. The ones these are, was a secret variant. I think they call this the chase variant. Yeah, chase variant. I actually put had to put one in uh, my light and full back. And uh, this is the one I'm speaking on. This is um, making some noise, finally. And I was like, I, I've been had it in here. I didn't just put it in here. I've been had it in my life because I knew uh, sooner or later, as, as popular as the the current title is, the current run, you know, like Immortal Hulk number two goes for, you know, uh, a lot of money now. It's the first appearance of Dr. Fry, I think. And, um, you know, it's just a popular title. About as popular as Venom, you know, and whatnot. Um, yeah, I was like, yeah, this is no brainer that his first appearance is gonna go up. So I've been having this, you know, sitting in my life and everything. Um, Avengers six eighty four first uh, full appearance of Mortal Hulk. But you know, um, you guys, I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, all of these. This uh, challenger or his first appearance of uh, Voyager. Voyager. Yeah. I didn't include that because I didn't think the cover was hot. Only piece of reason why I didn't include these because Voyager was in there. I just included because the cover is hot. But uh, this one and this one, these, these have a lot of first appearances. Uh, I can't remember them all, but you know these are like key books. You guys should look at the uh, key collector app concerning uh, this whole run. Actually, uh, the issue after this, um, as far as first appearances go, is the first uh, I think Hulk Buster suit or something like that. But we do hot covers, so let me start running my mouth here. Check it out: Life of Captain Marvel, number three, another hot title. But this was the uh, Joe Casada variant cover. The version of this is hot. Yeah, always has been. Um, off top, expensive book. Off, we're talking over a hundred dollars. The the the, the virgin, right? But even this is like fifteen. Catch a fire just because you know the trade dress is still dope. It's still Casada. Same same thing with the like I said, the trade dress on it. The bitty barcode, still a variant. So, yeah, this is one of the hotter ones of the year. Um, this was, uh, one of the hotter ones of the year, but it went under the radar, radar, Red Hood, Not Alive, number 25, Yasmin Petrie. Uh, this, people were starting to catch on because this is actually an expensive book, about 25, 30 bucks. Um, yeah. Uh, so. She caught fire with, like I said, the next issue, the one I showed earlier. But, uh, this is the money book of hers. You guys want to get right now. Speaking of secret var variants, uh, Venom number seven. 
let's show this because this is that one. I kind of snuck up on everybody all the time. The other secret variant I didn't grab was that uh, Infinity uh, Wars Prime, number one, the one with uh, Requiem's face unmasked. That was the one I didn't get, but I got uh, I got this one though. Fortunately, yes sir, yes sir. And last but not least, yeah, feed the beast. Venom number nine, Spider Man War uh, animation variant. I love this cover. There's actually a few other ones I want to get. I'm going to get the Miles Morales one. That looks real sharp too. I love the backdrop in this. I just absolutely love this cover. Probably like, it's definitely one of my top top uh, five of the year as well. So yeah, y'all, that's it. Um, I'm at uh, one eleven, so I'll go four more minutes. Uh, tell my folks, thank you for tuning in. Comic Head eighty four, Centuri Stir Fry, um, Bad Avenger. Um, yeah. All y'all that's going to be watching in the future, uh, thanks for tuning in. You know, I, I appreciate you. Couldn't do it without you guys. Um, love talking with you. What's up with the gloves? Um, actually, I kind of like started doing them when, um, you know, just to keep the all these stuff off my hands because I put lotion on my hands. I just, I seen somebody doing them, using them, and I used them once and decided to um, use them again. I see them sitting here and it's like, wait, why not? But I'm actually going to start uh, using them. Uh, there's uh, a store I go to where I go digging in a lot of these long boxes. And when I go, when I leave, I'm always wiping my hands on my Because you could just feel the a film of uh, just kind of like uh, grit, a slight grit uh, from all the old covers and old tape. It's like, you know how old, I don't know if you've ever been through somebody's old collection and they didn't really, uh, there's old collections that was kept well and then old collections that was kept kind of where they didn't care. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, I like surgery because like I said, I'm a, I'm a uh, boxing cut man. That's what I, that's why I have them. But they serve a dual purpose. Um, yeah, sometimes fighters get cut when I got to go in and do my thing, try to stop the bleeding. Um, but, um, yeah, he, he, there's two stores, actually. Um, one's kind of made out of brick. He has a kind of like, so there's a lot of brick grit in, in, in his bags and boards because I think what he does is he gets his stuff, and I don't know if he bags and boards on the floor you know, kind of like they sit down and do it, you know, for more room or what have you, because that's the only way I could imagine that the grit gets into the bags and boards, which I was, which was unfathomable to me at one point. And um, another one where he's just like, you know, uh, like I said, there's older collections to where, you know, it's old, but it's stored properly. There's a cover over the boxes. So, you know, like I said, it's not getting any uh, extra air exposure. And then there's collections to where they're kind of like, they're in, they might even be in bags and boards, but they're all, it's, you know, some of them ain't taped down. Some of them is bent backwards. You know, they're all, you can tell that the covers have been um, acided out. They over the acid was out a long time ago, you know. Then they've actually started to take on a, a extra film of their own type of shit. Um, yeah, hunting gloves, exactly. Because, uh, like I said, these two two stores in particular. Actually, <laughs> I was actually going to start taking, um, uh, you know, the little the hand sanitizer stuff. From when I leave there, because I actually I always wind up, you know, as soon as I walk out of the store, man, I gotta do this, or I go to um, Taco Bell up the street and wash my hands and get the, the little dust and grit and grime off. Because like I said, he got stuff, and it's actually cool. I've actually gotten stuff from there. It's been so bad that I've gotten stuff and had to get home, take it out the nasty ass uh, plastic, get tissue. And dust off 
all the because it looks like it's bad, right? Like, oh man, it's, like, I was like, I thought it was all color scuff right here, but well, what it was was, uh, you know, as soon as I took toilet paper and wiped it off, it was just the grit and dust and dirt accumulation, and I just gently wiped it off and it came away, thankfully. But that's I'm saying it to say how much grit and dirt dude has, so I'm gonna have to. So just trying to get used to them. I figured, why not? You know, I'm kind of particular with my uh, my lights too, as well. So I figure it eliminates, you know, all my fingerprints on the black covers. I heard uh, Wolf Warner. He was talking about putting in uh, the same issue I have of uh, the new um, um, Batman Who Laughs number one, right? The Capullo cover, all black. Now he said he went and got tissue and you know to put it in so he wouldn't get you know fingerprints on his black cover, which I'm pretty good about. What I have seen before, I've done it to myself before because at certain certain days my hands will be perspiring more than others, or I'll have lotion on my hands or something, and I've seen me leave fingerprints on magazines before. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, I dare not to happen to a comic book. So yeah, I'm probably wind up starting to start to use them a little more. I, I couldn't, I couldn't hurt. Damn, I gotta put all these damn books back, y'all. But anyway, thanks for joining me, y'all. Really appreciate you. Um, I'm, I'm talking a minute over. It's been fun. It's been real. I actually, don't know how many. Books, I'm gonna be. I mean, how many more hauls I'm gonna be doing? This I could think of something um, cool to do on because the hauls are probably becoming uh, few and far between. I'm starting to get uh, this is gonna be hard because, um, like I said, I'm not gonna be buying all the cover stuff like the Matina covers and the Middleton covers and all that stuff, unless I see it's catching fire like that Bad Girl 23 or. Um, stuff like that, then I'll, I'll chase it. But for the most part, I'm pretty much going to cut back and just cover buying. I know it's a plot and a ploy to get you to buy the book. Um, it's nobody's fault of my own. I'm not blaming anybody. I mean, it is what it is. You know, that's why they do it. You know, um, but I'm trying to get out of that. I'm trying to shoot for just keys this year. Like I said, if it's not making dollars, it's not making sense. So I'm going to shoot for. Um, my key list, um, cut back on the cover buy-in, um, spec buying still cool. Like I said, if stuff is making noise and people are specking on it, I'm going to really keep, start following, uh, you know, the, the, uh, aftermarket, uh, secondary market and all that stuff. And, um, as well as the, the news and the cinematic universe and all that stuff to try to stay up on trends and stuff. But uh, I'm pretty much done, man, with all the variants. And, I mean, it's fun, but um, I just, like I said, I just took a look back and was like, you know, what's my end game in all this? I mean, really, what, what am I trying to accomplish in the end? And um, like, like I said, all this stuff, especially with stuff, you know, you could u utilize to be a bit smarter, like the Key Collector app. And, uh, you know, you, you know, plenty of you guys uh, here with your spec vids, a lot of you guys is on point. Um, yeah, I'm going to just try to do things a little bit. Uh, now that I'm a little, you know, I've been doing it a little older, time's progressing, so I'm going to try to be a little wiser. Again, I say, if it ain't making dollars, it ain't making sense. Most new books are like cars, value by as soon as you drive off the lot. Yeah, man, that's how I look at them. Um, comic stocks, you know, it, it really, they are stocks, you know. You, uh, like I said, it depends on what kind of collect you, collector you, you are. And I know a lot of people, I don't know, maybe they have a shame or they don't like to admit to being flippers or I guess that's a, a thing. People put a stigma on that or you know, try to shame you for doing that. And, I personally could give a rat's ass, really. If, if, like I said, 
flip flip him like you're doing pizza crust. Uh, you know what I mean? Like you're doing pizza dough. Flip him like you're doing pancakes, man. You know, flip, flip, flip it like you're doing gymnastics. Um, I don't mind. That's smart. You know, like I said, it's comic stocks. Uh, you want to invest in them and, you know, you know, hope for some get back. The hell's wrong with that shit? If you could, if you, if you've confident in to do it sooner rather than later, hey man, more power to you, man. I, you got my vote, brother. Let me know how it works out for you. Maybe I'll follow suit. Shoot, um, I'm saying that to say, ain't no right or wrong way to collect. Me personally, like I said, if for me starting this year off top, we the fifth day of the year. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep saying it more towards the beginning because I got to keep reminding myself because, you know, these new comic book days coming up and I'm used to it. You know, I mean, I got the more the merrier so I can do a comic haul and, and you know, I'm going to 50 cent bands to get this and so I can show books and this and that. Uh, I'm not doing that no more. Uh, no, no more 50 cent. I mean, I'm not saying I ain't going to cruise at 50 cent, but I'm going to be looking for keys. It's not like I'm going to be just looking for stuff, especially if I am not flipping nothing, because I don't ever flip. I have not sold one damn book. I think I got like four books. I think I got three books out up on eBay for the longest time. Three nothing books. And then I put a lot of, of something up there recently, more recently. I ain't sold a damn thing. I had some books up on Instagram for a while and sold one damn thing. So definitely not about that with me, because I ain't sold nothing. So, um, you know, that's not my MO anyway. Uh, my MO is to, um, like I said now, is to get the key stuff I'm, um, you know, going to be putting in these uh, BCW uh, plastic storage bin, these short box, because I only keep my keys in the plastic. Put them in, uh, once again, put them in my light tubes and fullbacks, standard size. So current size. Uh, put them in the, put them in those and put them in um, BCWs for my keys. So I'm trying to get those filled up. You know, short boxes and runs, all that stuff. Like I said, I'm, I'm done. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to keep a, my ear to the street and find out what's hot and what's not. and Try to weed out the good from the bad. Yeah, you know, like I said, I, I know you do good, Comic Cat 84, as I am a satisfied customer. But uh, I've had no such luck, my man. I don't know if it's, it's something I'm doing or, I mean, I, I, I obviously, I, it wasn't like nothing hot that I was, you know, willing to part with. And that's cool. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm, that's not really my thing. I'm just, you know. I'm going to just, you know, collect uh, what I am going to do, what I have done, is I just did my inventory, and I'm getting rid of all the stuff I don't want, you know, I'm taking it down to a place that buys comics, and i um, hoping to get at least 50 cent on the book and trade, at the worst, I'll get 25 at the very least, I'll get a dime, which is worst case scenario, which I'm not, uh, you know, cash, I would say at the very least a dime. But in trade, uh, you know, I'm trying to get at least 50 cent on the book, which is kind of, I know you probably only give me 25, 25 cent. But, you know, that's what I'm trying to do to get rid of that. That I will use towards, uh, I was going to be doing this trade with a buddy. He's gonna be putting some of his, his some of his inventory with mine, and together we was gonna go down there and make the trade and split it, store credit, and uh, he was gonna get whatever key he could afford with his half, and I was gonna get uh, whatever key I wanted with mine. That was the plan until uh, he um, he uh, I think he's gonna go with a different different option. So I'm still getting uh, my stuff together, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, by the time it's all over, I'm just going to have stuff I'm really intent on keeping. And, uh, yeah. You know, like I got, like I said, I got a lot of, like, legacy stuff, you know, stuff I was getting for 50 Cent, you know, like Man of Steel, the more six-part series, stuff like that. 
you know, I got lots of a few things. Uh, Star Wars lot, Darth Vader lot. Might keep some of the Darth Vader though. But um, yeah, you know, I'm I'm just trying to. Uh, to be truth be told, these nice little Wonder Womans and all this stuff, those will probably go to somebody. I mean, eventually. Um, I got them now because the, the run is still going. Certain runs, I'll keep going. That's because the hell of it. Why stop now? Um, but I anticipate even those will go in the future. You know what I mean? I have never read it. It's not like the only thing I can honestly run that I'm going getting right now that I can actually anticipate keeping that I probably won't get rid of is gonna and, and Mortal Hulk. Excuse me. Those are runs of uh that warrant keeping, you know, good solid runs. And this you not know, like this Wonder Woman, but it's only iconic. Let's keep it real because of the cover covers. It's not like the story is killing us. I mean, I know she made some noise uh for a minute with the witching hour uh story arc but i mean for the most part like i say y'all let's keep it 100 we get wonder woman for the cover the, the, the frizzing covers at least i am are you reading wonder woman i'm not i don't know anybody that's reading wonder woman it's like hey man i can't wait for the next issue of wonder woman you know 58 to come out man the story is bad you know whoop -de -whoop -de. you know it's, it's not happening i don't know nobody reading wonder woman i don't know uh Nobody reading half these damn titles. Uh, who else? Uh, well, let's take something a little harder. Red Hood, Red Hood Outlaw. Um, Red Hood, my Red Hood is a hard character. I mean, kind of gangster, right? Um, still not reading it really. I got to keep it one hundred, man. I could be. That might be if I do read something. I might be. I might be more inclined to pick up that because the character is, you know, he's a badass character. Uh, he got a cool new costume, covers his dope by Yasmin Putri. You know what I mean? So that might entice me a little more to, you know, jump on this title, you know, or keep something like this, you know what I mean? As opposed to Wonder Woman, Catwoman, just covers buys. Yeah. I mean, most of them is all just cover buys, really. I mean, like I said, this is covered by two, but it might, I mean, I might turn this into something because, like I said, he might be a, a character that I could get into. Because I say, like I say, he's kind of kind of a badass and the covers are dope. But other than that, man, I'm done. I mean, yeah. Like I said, Frizzin got me in for the long haul. Uh, Batman, Batman is Batman. So I'm not going to talk about Matina doing Batman. Or Deathstroke. It's really, yeah, it's really kind of like the Supergirl would be our germ and the Wonder Woman, like you said, the Catwoman kind of stuff. I'm not, I'm not reading this stuff, man. It's all cover buys. And if I can help it, I'm definitely gonna swing back this year. So I know a few, a few of y'all saying you feel me. Um, I don't know how successful i'll be because you know i got that comic uh blood flowing through my veins and like i said i gotta keep telling myself no man no cover buys i don't care what's coming out this week you're gonna be cool unless it's i mean some coverage you can kind of tell um like i did not see that uh x23 number seven that diodato verini i think or her dropping down i i wouldn't have thought that was gonna be fire you know what i mean but I didn't get it. See, stuff like that kind of irritates me. But hey, what you gonna do? Get every comic book and think, you know, in hopes that it's gonna be that one that catches fire like that, you know, variant. I mean, you can't. So, I mean, like I said, I'm gonna just try to be smart. And um, you know, that's how we're gonna do it. So, hey y'all, thanks for tuning in. As always, you know, I appreciate you. Much love. Uh Tune in again, my friends. Until then, I'm your man, AM, Comics Most Wanted. Um, each one, teach one, tell your friends about me. And uh, all my butt, all my best. Y'all stay hunting them down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, we're going to get it, y'all. We're just going to be a little bit smarter. Older and wiser is the key, you know.
Like I said, if it ain't dollars, if it ain't making dollars, it ain't making sense. You feel me? Yeah.